very welcome back women's singles time here at the Scottish Open Grand Prix 2014 at the Emirates Arena in Glasgow it's uh, for us from Estonia 30 year old Kathy Tolmoff mother of two Kathy and uh, back in action after some time out looking after her two young children against the other veteran of French singles badminton Perrin Le Bonique. two players who would have come up around the same time so two players who will know each other very well over the years of course Tolmoff and Le Bonique. Played each other just once and many, many years ago at the Open Volant Door, which was an old tournament down in France, I remember. And uh, Tolmoff won that in two sets, but that's a long time ago. Perrin ranked higher at 116. Kathy Tolmoff at 149, but certainly for me, the hot favourite for this will be the Estonian. I'd agree with that, Mark. But I think it should be a good match. Yeah, it has the potential to be a good match for sure. And uh, Tolmoff is one of these players who exudes confidence, you know, is high, hyper confident in her own ability and uh, had a good performance two weeks ago playing for Estonia in the mixed team championship qualification where Estonia had Sweden right on the racks winning the men's singles. Okay, ladies, let's get ready, please. And Kathy Tolmoff beating uh, Eleanor Vid of Sweden, who we just saw on the adjoining court win easily to give Estonia a 2-0 lead in that deciding match against Sweden. But Sweden came back and won both the doubles in the mix to qualify for uh, Belgium in February. Came back, I saw her in Finland at the Finnish Open in uh, May. That was the first I saw of her back on tour. Very, very dangerous player. Lots of power in those legs. You can Ladies see she's been really working right, on her physical condition. Kathy Tomov, and, uh, Estonia. On my left, Perin Lepuhanic, France. Very, very busy player, isn't she, Mark? She sort of uh, really uh, harasses her opponents and uh, keeps them uh, uh, under pressure. Kathy, seven. You seven. You seven. So it's Tom off the serve. Mark feeling which you was always Ray beside me again for this women's singles. Love all. Play. High serve from Tom off the start. One. Love. It's over. One all. Service over. Two. Error on the serve, and one. if and when, and if it does come in, you know the new scoring system. Errors like that will have to be cut out from the players. Well, Can't afford to give any points service away. Over. Two in all. this 21 system, let alone an 11 system, if it came in. To all a reasonable start for Perrin. Service over. Perrin Three, suffered heavily two. with an injury in that right knee. You can see the the strapping support on the knee, but over the recent years that knee support has gotten smaller and smaller Four. as she becomes more confident again two. in that right knee. she used to wear when she came back first from her knee injury she used to wear one of those really heavy almost full length supports with the uh, rigid support down each side Three, oh, I four. don't know how she was able to move in it Perrine has a very four, good attack four. but um, I, th I just feel that uh, uh, Katie is far more flowing in her game and um, a lot more 
mobile and able to move the shuttle around the court and I think that's going to tell. Service over. Five, four. Six, four. Service over, five, six. Cathy just finding seven the space over, in behind seven, period. Five. Careless errors really Five. from Perrine at the moment. It's um, not exactly a high quality game at the moment. No, it's quite poor. No, it's a very, very poor Service serve. Over. That Six, serve almost eight. landing off the green mat. I think a string went in Cathy's racket. Change of weapon for the Estonian. No. Seven, eight. I'm just trying to work out that logo Tomov has on her racket. Service over. Nine, seven. Yeah, Ten, right call just out. Seven. A little bit of indecision from the line judge, but made the right call in the end. I'm sitting right down that line nearest the umpire. Oh, that's really 11, nice cross seven, net. Interval. Good wrist from Tolmoff and the interval lead for the Estonian. And after a really bitty start to this match, I think the last couple of points we're starting to see the quality of Tomov come through. And a pattern's starting to develop as well, that she's starting to turn uh, Perrine a lot. So that was a turn that she was able to do there. She uh, reversed it a couple of times into uh, Perrine's backhand net and then uh, crossed her at the net. So it's really making her turn, and when, which I think she's quite poor at. I just got a dirty stare from Cathy because uh, I wrote an article last week 11, seven, where I called her a veteran five. and she wasn't impressed with calling her a veteran and, uh, and I had to profusely well, apologise. And she is 30. Seven. And veteran is not the 35, of course, but uh, certainly uh, one of the older players on the circuit, for sure. 15. Yeah, I think you've... Uh, Justified there. Exactly. 30 is quite old in singles, really. Now, my fault. sorry, my mistake. But she looks good on court and Service she's a eight. good player. Well. Perrine is hanging in there, Ray. Right? Still only three point advantage for Tolmoff. Well, that was a long way in. Ten, Complete misjudgment 12. by Tolmoff. Eleven. Twelve. 
And on the joining court, I'm not sure if you ever seen her play before, uh, Ray, but we got this new talent from Denmark, Mia Blitchfeldt. 16 years of age, national champion already in uh, Service over. Denmark. Winner in 13. Norway only last week. And, uh, fantastic talent in women's singles for Denmark. We're sure to see more of her in the years to come. But meanwhile, back to war match, and it's certainly the older player, one of the older players on the circuit, Kathy Tolmov. With a three-point advantage, four-point advantage now over Perrin Lebonique of France. 14, 11. And even just in that rally, you saw um, Tolomov turning Perrine time and time again. And it really does work against a tall player. And for tall players, th this is uh, a good tactic to use against them. I think it's been a game 15, at the moment, though, of um, some really good shots and then some uh, uh, real poor mistakes as well. So it's been real mixed bag of uh, play out there. Yeah, Perrin willing that Service one to drop over. out. 12, 15. Seems to be the initials KK on her racket. Yeah. I think I, I recognize it as a most likely a Yonix racket, but. Um, Something uh, uniquely Kathy Tolmoff, I assume. Good, Good shot. Mm. Good shot there. Yeah. 13, 15. I think that's another fact for you to find out there, Mark, because you, you've got all the other facts. She scares me, I'm afraid to ask her. <laughs> well, we'll do, it, do it while you're apologising to her. Uh, uh, by the way, first. by the way, what's a KK on your racket mean? Or is it a KX? It's, oh, it's it's distracting me from the actual match. That's poor around the head cross court from Pirin. Seventeen. It's done a real mixture 13. of shots from uh, really good to uh, the sort of mistake that she's just made there, but. Um, I think that uh, Katie Tolomoff is the better mover on the court and it's um, 14, shown 17. in the score. Service over. 18-14. Service over, 15, 18. Just missing those lines on the, the, the back line there, and there is a slight drift that way. So it's um, the, the play goes just that little bit quicker towards the end. Halt. Service over, 19, 15. I was quite surprised, Mark, when you brought up the head-to-head uh, -head results of the two of them, that they'd only played once. You know, you mentioned that they'd come through the ranks together, etc. so it's uh, quite surprising. But she's caught her twice with that type of shot, and uh, that's turning 20, the player very successfully. 15. Yeah, and that once was a long time ago. I think it's actually pre-2006, so... Uh Cathy would have been playing well when Perrin would have been out injured and then uh, 16, 20. Cathy coming back after the birth of her children or out while the birth of her children and Perrin would have been back and they, you know, they sort of missed each other a lot on the circuit. 
1720. But you have to tip your hat to these female players who can go away and start a family. Game. And not only come back, you know, the motivation to come back, you have the physical Donald demands and coming back from, uh, from, from giving birth, not to one, but, but two children, and coming back and playing at such a high level. And Absolutely. Cathy Tolmov taking the first game against an established player like Perrine Leponique, 21 17. And for me, it's amazing. Um, Ella Deal is another one who would be in the sim similar situation, of course, and still can hit a mean shuttle. You can, and uh, when you're talking about the women that you're talking about here, Mark, and you've already mentioned that you're frightened of uh, uh, taking her on, uh, talking about very strong women, strong mindsets, uh, um, real role models, really. It, even what you're seeing now, that uh, Perrine's uh, got a coach that's able to give her lots of... Uh, Advice, but Katie's out there just uh, sort of uh, going through her thoughts herself. I mean, that's uh, an advantage for the French player that uh, uh, Katie's not got, and um, I'm sure, being the strong person that she is, she'll uh, just take it in her stride and be thinking of her own tactics there. Yeah, throughout her career, of course, Talmoff has pretty much ploughed her a lonely furrow. Funding and everything and things like that. Issues coming from Estonia. Well, the French are backed by the uh, power of their national training centre in INSEP and uh, major sponsors and always have plenty of coaches. Not only coaches, but uh, medical staff and Second masseuse game. and things Bravo. like that. So, uh, Lots of funding. Lots of funding. Lots of funding. Mm -hmm stark contrast and circumstances between the two nations. Perrine at full stretch but unable to get the shuttle back. Tom Off has always been a real girly girl on court also. You, there's always a little dash of pink somewhere and uh, this time it's the shoes. There, there is, but... Um, Service over. Yeah, tough as well, One. I think. Oh. You know, yeah. really tough. That's, uh, tough as nails. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but in certainly thought twice about Two. taking that shot. One. And I think the hand was saying one thing and the head was saying something different. Service over. Smash at the body. You don't often see that in ladies' singles. To all. See it a lot in men's singles. You don't see it a lot in ladies' singles. Not unless you get to the highest level. Service over. Three, two. Oh, beautiful deception on the return. Service over. That's strange, isn't it? Two smashes at the body, both of them with one point. Three, all. Service over. Four. Three point. Three. Perrine. Very good shot. Five, three. I just get the impression that as it goes into a rally situation, that Tolomov is a lot more comfortable than uh, Perrine. Lovely point. That's three over. three shots to the same corner. Four, five. Service over. 
I mean, that's Six, at least three times four. we've seen Pirin play that same winner off the high serve. And that's her strength, isn't it? The, the, the height and being able to uh, really get angles on her shots. But I think defensively she's Travis a little over. bit weak and I think movement-wise she's Six. a little bit weak. Yeah, sometimes just a little bit robotic almost in her movement. Yep. Service over. Seven, five. Service over. Six, seven. Careless errors from Perrine there, and uh, Seven, I should have said four. it. And that I just feel that although it's even, that Perrine's the one likely to make the mistakes. Three errors on the trot. Eight. Seven. Just cannot afford that in this level of singles. Service over. Eight. All. Smash. Eight. And the French woman. Put a jump in there as well, just mm. get the uh, better angle. Something we're seeing a lot more of. Certainly, Kirsty Gilmore, one of the uh, forerunners in the European jump smash from female revolution. We see a lot of it now. As I said, Kirsty. Uh, Beatrice Corrales is another one. Perrin likes to get up in the air. And so many of the younger ones also. Young Delphine Lansac of France. Oh! Poor mistake there. 11, eight, into the lead off a poor mistake from Tolmoff for Le Bonique. And uh, decent enough first half of the second game for the French woman. As you said, Ray, it still looks like Perrin is the one most likely to make the silly mistakes. And Talmuth certainly looks the more solid. But a three-point lead is useful, and uh, particularly in rally point systems, it can all slip away from you so quickly if you do go into... A small run of errors, and whichever uh, party that is, they're the ones that are going to be in trouble. Just a small point, the uh, guy in the chair is uh, Brian Casey. Uh, he's uh, Alistair Casey's father, and um, this is his last tournament, I believe. He's uh, retiring from umpiring. Service over. Very successful attack at the body. And she's done it from overhead, and there she Nine, did it from uh, sort of attacking and pressing the net. Ten, eleven. And Tolomov just starting to mount the uh, pressure to claw the uh, lead back. Smash at the body again. But careless errors from uh, Perrine there all. to level the scores. So 11 all, second game, 22 minutes gone. Tom off one set to the good, winning the first 21-17. Three points in a row here to level it up at 11 all. After Perrine Le Bonique went to the interval with a healthy three-point lead. 12, Tom off has 12. swallowed up that lead. 
just raise the pace, doesn't she, March? She's just raised the pace a bit. And uh, it's been very effective. Thirteen, eleven. That must be five points on the trot. She's won. Yep, five in a row. Went into the interval eleven eight behind. And it's just 14, starting to drift 11. away now from the French woman. And th this is what I think Katie's so good at that. Um, you you said that uh, sh she's come back uh, after having children and everything like this is what I remember seeing uh, playing 15, like um, when she 11. was uh, in her absolute prime she uh, was very business like on the court never gave anyone anything harassed them and that's um, 16, uh, just looking 11. for the next point all the time playing a point at a time again the body smash from Tom up Service over. 12 16. And it does show how quickly it can change in this game because um, I think that's uh, one point in probably uh, nine that she scored there. Service over. Yep, yeah, that's it. 17 Eight. 12. Eight for Tolmoff. Now nine, of course. One for Perrin. Service over. But Tolmoff just looks the more natural player. Uh, 15, she's more flowing, isn't she? She's uh, a fluency uh, to her play. Yeah, good mover. Mm -hmm. She has that fine balance, you know, she's got that nice elegant movement, but she has that vicious explosive power and 14, you can see it in her legs, you know. 17. Very, very well uh, constructed, powerful smash. She has no fear. There's a turn. Yeah, beautiful. Taking the shuttle so That's high. Over 18. Right 14. on top of the tape and pulling it across. I'm sure a lot of players are envying uh, Perrine's backhand 19, there, though. She gets 14. it in her backhand corner and she's able to just push it up the back as easily as anything. Hey. Yeah. Come. 20. It's just not going her Match way. Point. Half court 14. lift from Tolmoff. Should have been put away with ease by Perrine. Tolmoff defends it, gets it back. With it, match point, and that's it. And a dominant second half of that second game, Ray. And you know, it's as we said, we expected it. Okay, Perrin may be the higher ranked player, but Tomov only really on her way back. But we know her from old, and we know what she can do. And certainly, we've seen it here today two games 21 17, 21 14. And uh, you know, whoever she plays in the next round, they'll be looking at it and going, Oh. It's Cathy Tolmoff. I don't really fancy playing her, you know. Good, solid player. But there are some strong women in the draw that are going to give her problems as well. But that second half, uh, 13 points to three. It's uh, pretty impressive. Yeah, complete domination. If we recall it, real. And as the players leave the, the, the field of play... That guy wasn't a bad player that was just in shot. He was uh, world number three, Kenneth Jonasson. Probably one of the best coaches around. So as you can see, the order of play, Cathy Tolmoff just victorious over, over Perrin. 
Wrong spelling of Perrin there, boys. Lebonik and uh, next up will be mixed doubles. McHugh and Findlay for Scotland against Beck and Kattenbach of Germany. Then Toby Penty, who was victorious over Kieran Merrilees yesterday, will be back on court in his uh, men's singles. We'll take a short break and back shortly with the mixed doubles between McHugh and Findlay and Beck and Kattenbach. <laughs> 